What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. And maybe she thought... Oh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Eric. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. but I'm used to it. All right, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Arrows scattered there. Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. look like drag marks. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. They look like smears. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? The stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. 
see. Car tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I get why they wanted it. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? To me, you chump! Calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it.
Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. What are those leather straps? So much blood. Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. A lot of people died here. A massacre. There's no blood on them. Mercer's men didn't fight back. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. This is Ursus Helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram gets special treatment, and now Outlander passed by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man.
Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osiron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osiron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osiron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. How much did a cease pay you? That sounds like her.
Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat the seas. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Looks good. I'm not sure where Assis and Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. This way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. I fear we're too late. The Tarkis may arrive in time to see him die from here. There he is. Red Maw. Assis is holding his own. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us.
they're beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, you buried it, along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmore first, to soften him up. Damn. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <sighs> okay then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Hawk Radovin Khan Padish, like cherished Leave brother, that. and Sunhawk <clears throat> Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people. To follow. Look. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This Lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. May you always take your prey. Not his private shrine. You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? 
I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. Osram slaves built that- Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. I, I have the authority of the sun! Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. So damn hot. You have to be a fool to worship this thing. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards, the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. <sighs> I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. <sighs> I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, 
thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running. But here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land, and she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. You were a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glintox linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter.
Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. A woman now leaves the hunter's lodge only because no men were left in her house to keep job. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. That's a very sad So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and beads. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend, and let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. Mm -hmm. 